Hello, my name's Burke, and I made a clock. If you see, whenever I just look at the clock to check what time it is, it falls down. I don't know why I did it. It kind of just, like, popped into my head. I was like, yeah, I'll do that. I'll spend the next three days making, making this. Uh-oh, my head's not in frame. Well, guess who's not doing another take? That sounds, that sounds like a plan. Uh, it doesn't even work. <laughs> the clock part doesn't... <laughs> I broke it some sometime along the way trying to make this. It doesn't even... Oh, wait. Maybe... It works now. The battery goes out. But, um, when, it, when it's running, it makes this, like, every minute around every minute. It makes this like unbearably loud screeching noise. And I think it's because I messed up the second hand when I was when I was uh uh taking it apart and it's like bent and now it scrapes against the glass. So that's fun. That's real fun. I like that. Um so here's the here's the clock. Um it's kind of ripped from when I was from all the times it fell down. But, um, you can see, it kind of looks like a bomb. Uh, it's not a bomb, I promise. Um, but I'm pretty sure if I go out of my house with this, I'm going to get tackled by the SWAT team. But, whatever. Uh, here's all the components. That's the thing that came with the clock that, like, moves the, moves the hands. And just a Raspberry Pi controlling this little motor whenever this webcam detects uh, a face and it's running on this little portable battery that I have there's another portable battery right here it doesn't actually do anything but it wasn't uh, wasn't giving enough power to the Raspberry Pi so I just got a new one and I didn't feel like removing the tape from it so it's just there this servo is literally it wasn't long enough so I just duct taped uh, a, like, little, uh, friggin' golden paper clip to it, and that worked out. That, that's good. And also, pretty much all of it is just duct taped together. Uh, and I, I wanted to, to use a glue gun on it, because that's, that'd be better. Right, but I had no glue sticks, and wasn't go, gonna go buy some, right? So I just used duct tape, whatever, it's fine. Uh, and also, if, if you, <laughs> up here, the only way that I was able to hang this up was by putting a screwdriver in my windowsill and, like, pushing, pushing one part of it down with, with the window and the other in, inside my room. And that was the only way that I could find, look at that, it works. Uh, except it doesn't actually, it's, 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 I broke it, it's, alright. Okay, here's the code. Um, it's, I connected this monitor to the clock, or to the Raspberry Pi, and here, if I can focus on that, it's using OpenCV to detect the face for facial detection, and it basically detects when it sees my eyes, and if it sees my eyes for a consecutive three frames, then it'll rotate that motor uh, 180 degrees and then back 180 degrees. That's pretty much all this does, as you might guess. It's not a lot at all. And you can see right here, uh, it's me. It works like surprisingly well well compared to what I thought it was gonna work which is like not at all but it, it works so yeah this was a very productive weekend um, I made a clock that kills itself uh, well I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep now because I have peaked and nothing that I ever do in my life will be as good as this so, thank you. Consider liking this video if you liked it. If you didn't, 
then uh, consider liking and subscribing. Uh, thank you very much. I will do more of this. Um,